Hey everyone, just wanted to give you a quick review of Inglot. Um, these are so soft and they are pigmented, uh, but they seriously do need a base. Uh, you can see this is my uh, 20 palette. They have 40 palettes now, but I think they're pre-filled. I'm not sure. Um, the bad, bad thing is, they, I don't know, there's really not no space to put the number on it. And I, I made a mess of my back by putting numbers. And then sometimes I'm not happy and I change the colors around. This is my smoky, I call it my smoky palette. It's got the blacks, the silvers, the taupes, the whites, the grays. Um, and then I got some blues. This, this was the gift, this one right here, oh, right here. This one was the gift. Uh, these were like blue violets, and then I just wanted a navy blue and a light blue. Um, so, yeah, um, I really love the softness. It does have some fallout, but if you, like, don't really mash it in there, just kind of swirl it a little and pat it, it's not that bad. But they are kind of soft, so it does have, a, like, it does flake a lot, you know, like, like, like the NYX palettes, the NYX, um, eyeshadows. Um, the colors are pretty pigmented. Some need a base, some do not. Base definitely makes it pop more. I only got the shimmery ones, the ones with glitters and pearls. Um, they come, they call, they have ones called Shines, AMC, uh, Advanced Makeup Component, I think which has double supposedly like the most sparkle or something they have double sparkle um so i, I those are the, basically i get the ones with like the, sh the pearl and the shimmery glitters in them um so yeah um i've got every purple every taupe i bought it all plus rainbow colors and you know some other stuff us uh, blues and greens are really into blues and greens and I'm gonna show you uh, the the newest ones I got I'm putting in smaller orders because of my financial problems as I said um, but next month I want to put in a one large order and that's it I'll have all the colors I want but yeah I, I like these that's why I keep using these for my looks lately um, the only bad thing is you notice all the dings in them um taking these things out i i like oh, i don't like how this looks let me change this around taking these things out is just horrific they said that if you do this <laughs> sticking to the bow sticking to my little hairpin if you take the magnet that's on the ends right here and you do this it's supposed to come out see but that worked for me twice in the hundred times I tried it. This for, this one just came out now. But if I try to do another one, it won't work. Let me try another one. See? I'm trying. They say you just do this and it pops right out. Just put it on the mag on the magnet and it see that. The only one it ever works with is this one corner right here. It's the only time it works for me. If I try doing this any other time, it does not come out. So getting these out are a pain in the butt. Um, Encore said to buy like a huge magnet, a really strong magnet from Michaels, and they pop right out like that. Uh, I haven't done that, and I've been using a razor. But if you don't do it right, ugh. and one of them is so discombobulated that I can't even get it out anymore. But I'm just like, I keep looking and saying, I don't know. I'm trying to get it like in a perfect sequence of color and I just for some reason it's just not working for me but yeah um, you know I really like the softness of it the p taking in and out is a pain the 40 uh, the 41 that they're doing now many people are saying is too heavy but some people like that and I think they will be allowing you to put all your colors in that but that one's gonna be something like in the like over a hundred dollars if you go to IMAX or one of those makeup shows, you'll get it for a, a huge discount. But yeah, um, I mean, I like them. They're soft. They feel so silky. Um, they're so pretty. But again, that's the bad thing is taking them in and out when you want to rearrange the colors or 
or let's say you wanted to go somewhere with this and you want to change the colors on a regular basis, you know, that becomes a problem if you can't get them out. And it, as you can see, there's a bunch of dings in them. And, and I know that just doesn't look nice and it's annoying. But, um, yeah, uh, that's the only bad thing about it. But other than that, oh my goodness, let me see. I'm just going to, I don't know if you're, the camera, the light, or the camera picks up on that sparkle on that. All that sparkle. That one's a glitter. This one's a pearl. Um, let me try. Some have like double glitter. This one, I think, is a double glitter. It looks, it looks blue in the pop, but when you put it on, the sparkles look purple. And you really, really need a base for for that one to show on your eyes. Um, I love this one. This is these are like a taupe with like a purple undertone. Um, the ones that I swatched were this one has like a rainbow sparkle. I swatched that one. I swatched this black pearl. I swatched this black with blue glitter, but it looks purple. And I swatched this one down here. It's a taupe with a purple undertone. This, I think, is my favorite purple taupe color right here. Um, but, yeah, I've been, you know, I've been showing you them pictures and, you know. Okay, see, that is without any base. See, some of the ones, the pearl ones really don't need a base. But the shimmer ones do. Especially if you want that glitter to show. So... I, I'm, I'm in love with this. I'm obsessed. This is my new obsession. Um, so, yeah. My only problem is taking them in and out is a pain in the butt. But, yeah. So, I've got... I call this my smoky palette. Uh, I call this one my rainbow palette. I showed you this before. Where I have the pearls on top and the sparkle on the bottom. I'm going to show you the reds. See, you can tell the difference. These are the two reds. The top one is more um, pearlized and then the bottom one looks like a matte but it's got the glitter in them. And you can see some dings in these two. Uh, yeah. Because as you're trying to get it out with a razor or whatever it is, if it slips it cuts right into the eyeshadow. And makes a mess. Um, you saw the yellows. I mean, the orange in the has is a better probably example. It's like a, a frosty orange, and then this is an orange with glitter. Um, I really, really love these. This blue one right here. Let me see if I could uh, get this. This is like a bluish periwinkle pearl, and then this is like a blue with sparkles in it. So, you know, a lot of times eyeshadow will swatch great on your finger, even swatch on your, you know, uh, hand. But when you go to put it on the eye, that's a different story. These, like I said, they're pretty pigmented, but some will need a base more than others. Uh, the pearls usually don't need a base. But unless you really, really want it to pop, and you know me, I do. Oh, this is so beautiful, this blue. It's got a, the tiniest bit of a purple tone in it. So, yeah, I uh, just wanted to show you that, give you my review for it. I, I just, I just love them. Um, I've got two of the 20 palettes, one of the 10, one of the five, and one of the three. Um, and I just might get the two palette just because, <laughs> just so I have all the palettes. But yeah, um, it's Inglot, uh, USA, I believe, dot com. And, um, I, Personally, I think it'd be better if you go to, if you can go to a store, which they have two in California, one in New York, one in New Jersey, and then you could really, really see, you know, what you want. The website colors don't really. I, I get you know sometimes I'm like that's not what it looked like when I saw it on the website, but anyway. But you know, it'd be better if you go to a store. But still, it's I'm I'm just my new obsession and I love it. And yeah, I'll be doing I'll be using these a lot in my looks. Um, so yeah. Mwah.